Hello. I just want to quickly walk you through the results of our OAuth investigation. So we wanted to streamline the sign-up process for a GitLab VS Code extension. And so far you have to, or at the moment, you have to set up a token in your GitLab web interface and then pass the token inside a VS Code extension. And it can be simpler with uh, OAuth flow. And I had a look at it, um, pretty much investigated first what uh, the GitHub extension does because uh, VS Code already implements OAuth uh, or authentication providers for GitHub and Microsoft. So I had a look at the implementation and I uh, thought about how to extend it to support uh, GitLab. And Pretty much what I came up with is that uh, we'll have to uh, create OAuth app instance-wide and that will allow us to support GitLab.com. Now, now, ideally, we would like to create this instance-wide application for every single self-managed instance. So it would be really seamless for people to use VS Code with any instance. They would just put URL in and that would be enough for them to use OAuth, not having to generate a token. Now, uh, the main thing that I actually wanted to explain here is that the difference of how can we implement the OAuth flow in VS Code. There are two options. There is a VS Code Authentication API, which that, that's there is no implementation. It pretty much just says, what interface do we have to adhere to for other extensions to be able to get auth session from or authentication session from our extension so let's say we adhere to this interface and another extension may be something like a github um, test results if there would be such an extension can just say i want to get github authentication from this uh, GitHub authentication provider and they don't have to implement OAuth themselves. But there is no implementation that we could reuse. We would just uh, implement our own version that has to adhere to the uh, API. The API it works pretty well, but the tricky part is that it allows only for one or two instances. What does that mean is that the extension pretty much, uh, let's say our extension or any other needs to know this provider ID string and what the provider ID does. Uh, for example, for GitHub, it's uh, the ID is a string GitHub or GitHub Enterprise. And it means either you connect to github.com or you define yourself a one GitHub instance and you connect to it. And all the extensions that would want to reuse this authentication have to also know that for example, GitLab would support GitLab and GitLab self-managed. It can be like a GNOME GitLab or GitLab.com or dev.gitlab.com. There is just no way to support all of them. And that's the limitation of this uh, authentication API. The other option is not to uh, implement the API, which pretty much, pretty much means doing exactly the same work the the um, provider auth provider is not going to be exposed to other extensions but in return we get more freedom of let's say if we manage to provision every self-signed with a auth app people could um, users could then just sign into any gitlab instance without um, like without being limited to only two instances and so that's that's the very uh, gist of the whole difference. Uh, I guess we can always go between them because the implementation is the same. Only in one case it adheres to uh, to the authentication the API, and in one case it doesn't. The one way going from not using the, the authentication API to using it is a non-breaking change. The other way it's breaking change if there was any. Um, VS Code extension that already depends on on our exposed authentication provider, we would break 
that extension if we moved from using the authentication API to not using it. And that's pretty much all that I wanted to um, explain. There weren't many questions around the, the flow or or uh, any other details. So in summary, there is no difference in effort. The, moving one way from not using the API, sorry, from using API to not using it is breaking change the other way. It isn't, but if we only support gitlab.com or it's very, let's say adding OAuth app to another self-signed, uh, self-served instance is involved, like there needs to be the administrator needs to create it. And then everyone, every user of that instance needs to know the client ID that defines the auth app, then I think it's okay to go with the GitHub similar way to only support Git, uh, gitlab.com and one self-served self uh, instance. All right, thank you.